In this podcast, I'm going to discuss um, hybridization as it applies to resonance structures. Hybridization can be a little bit um, intimidating at times, but it actually helps us when we're talking about resonance structures and it makes everything make a lot more sense. Um, in a resonance structure, the pi bonds become delocalized. So we've been talking about how resonance structures, they're really not, it's not really a double bond or a single bond on one side, it's actually a um, average of the two. Well, the reason that it can average like that has to do with the pi bonding, um, the pi electrons. They become delocalized over all of the atoms um, in the structure that have a pi bond overlap. So let's see what this really means. All right, so look at this example. Um, this is a, a structure. Now, just understand every time you have a change in the line, so all these little places I'm pointing out with my um, pointer here, those are carbon atoms, okay? So you have a carbon atom here, 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 and here. So it's really six carbon atoms with hydrogens on each carbon. And then you have alternating single and double bonds. Well, of course, this has a resonance structure because the double bonds and single bonds could be in the opposite location as they are on the first structure. All right, now that all kind of seems crazy because it's really just an average of all the structures, right? Well, what we have here is we have a picture of all the sigma bonds. So in the sigma bonds, you have, um, are occurring because you have the double bonds and single bonds all have sigma bonds. So you have all these sigma bonds between all the carbon atoms. All right, and then you have these p orbitals, okay, coming up here. Now you see that we have one, two, three things coming off this carbon, so that would be sp2 hybridized, okay? And remember in sp2 hybridization, you have one p orbital that is left and it's not hybridized at all. So it's just horizontal, I mean not horizontal, vertical, it's just sticking up and down, okay? So here are all of these um, p orbitals that have not been hybridized. What you actually have is you have pi bonding occurring in each of these, okay? So here we're showing the localized pi bonds for um, the hybridization that occurs. So here's a pi bond, there's a pi bond, and there's a pi bond. So this is assuming the first structure that we had where we have all of the um, double bonds in that location. Now if you change the location of the double bonds for the second resonance structure, you get the pi bonding occurring in a different location. Okay, well it's really not this or this, it's really a average of the two. So you actually have delocalized pi bonding which allows the, to average these two. So you have these three plus these three all combining on top and on bottom to give us one giant pi delocalized orbital that allows us to see why it's an average of all the structures because those electrons are allowed to be shared between all of those atoms simultaneously. All right, here's just a different look at the uh, benzene molecule that we were just looking at. So again, we have our sigma bonding okay sp2 hybridization and then we have these p orbitals that stick up and they all bond together like so okay and you still have the hydrogens coming off all right let's look at another example all right no3 is a good example in no3 you're going to have a double bond that's right here where you see the pi bond overlap and then the rest of them are single bonds. So you have two single bonds to the O, and then you have this double bond to one of the O's. Well, we know that that has resonance structure because we don't know if the double bond is located here or here or here, right? We don't know which O is being double bonded. So we actually see that it becomes a delocalized average of all of them. So we see a big pi bond occurring here. Then it's a delocalized pi bond. So Really, NO3 doesn't have one double bond and two single bonds. It really has delocalized pi bonding 
that is occurring throughout H each O. Okay, so that is resonance. So you see that resonance um, and hybridization actually go a little bit more hand in hand because it explains why it's an average of the structure more. It's an average of, uh, average of the structure because you have these delocalized electrons. When I say delocalized, I mean they don't belong to any single atom.